Good morning. Hello, everyone. How are we all doing? Can you all hear me okay? Who have we got? Oh. Good morning, everyone. Scottish Bookworm. Stitchy Rebo. Elaine. Emma Rose. Good morning, good morning. Well, I say good morning. For some, I'm assuming it's not morning, is it? I suppose for some, this is afternoon and good evening. So maybe I should say good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Oh. <laughs> Right, so just to check, the music is not too loud. Is that okay? Are we, I'm not being drowned out by music because I can't hear what you hear. Good morning from Melbourne. Thank you, loving the glasses. Today is a glasses day, people. The, the contact lenses were not going in, but I've been faffing around and truly in Teresa style, faffing with the lighting to try and avoid the glasses glare so i think i might have overcome the challenge the stitching is not as clear as i'd like it but it's the best i can do so the music's perfect wonderful well it's good to see you all on the stream at this ungodly hour for some in the morning so i know that a lot of people were like oh no she's doing one at 9 30 in the morning so i'm assuming that some people are not early birds me i've been up for hours <laughs> Oh, good morning from Florida. Is it is it morning there? What time is it in Florida, Michelle? Hello in Italy. Music and lights are great, wonderful. Sophie in Scotland. Morning, Teresa. 9.30 on a Sunday. Well, I try to look glamorous. I'm not feeling very glamorous now. <laughs> well, I thought I would do a little... I'm trying to make it so that this is um, time zone fair. So I did one that was based more for the US and the Canadians um, last Sunday at sort of, I think it was six o'clock-ish UK time, which I know is no good for those of you in, in the Down Unders um, and Asia and some of the other areas. So I thought, well, if I do this my morning, one week and then my evening another week then it might work out a bit fair hello from perth hi claire good morning from pennsylvania it's 4 30 in the morning wow <laughs> what are you doing awake at 4 30 in the morning admittedly short story you know we love a good story so this morning i was sound asleep and all of a sudden i heard this horrible rumbling noise which frightened the life out of me because my husband's been away overnight this, like last night. So I was sort of home alone. And I woke up with such a start because I was panicking about what it was, what the noise was. It was a thunderstorm. <laughs> so of course, of course, I had to stay up for a little bit of a few claps of thunder and a bit of lightning just so I could see it and say I've seen the thunderstorm. Good morning from Norfolk. Oh, you're doing your ironing, Joe. You're a very good girl. Um, no. I, I, I only iron when I need it. <laughs> More live streams always good. Wonderful. As long as we're liking it. Hello from France. Cat, is it now? Do you say yours? Katia? Is that correct? So we've got the Philippines. Hello there, James. Uh, Maria Tapia. Oh, see now you're gonna have to excuse the way I say names because I'm really not that great with names. But I'm gonna I'm gonna have a go at it. So what it, what is it that you need to know? Hello, where do you buy your beads for your chatelaine? So whenever I'm purchasing anything for my chatelaines, um, I go to European Cross Stitch Company. Um, if you if you go into Google and type in European Cross Stitch Company, I get like my bead packs from there because they source the threads they source the beads um yeah i like the easy route and it's 4 30 a.m in canada working nights so on your break tracy great for you to have uh, took your break and decided you wanted to come and hang out with us lot at <laughs> this ungodly hour <laughs> 
Hello from sunny Queensland, Australia. Well, I'm glad it's sunny there because I can assure you it is anything but sunny here. It is far from sunny. So good morning from Cornwall. Oh, hello. How's the weather over there? You're keeping me company while sorting out hundreds of DMC threads that you've been gifted. Wow, what a lovely gift, but wow, what not such a lovely thing to be doing. <laughs> I feel your pain. I feel your pain. But it's nice to play with floss on a Sunday morning, no? So Emma says it was an amazing storm. I've got to be honest, Emma, I was a bit disappointed. I I'll be frank. But that's only because where I live, it's sort of... The thunderstorms follow the river and I live just off the river. So I always see it in the distance, but it, it's very rare that it actually comes overhead, which is what I like. I like a proper storm. And since as I've gotten upstairs now, and I have stairs, people, I have stairs. Admittedly, they're not the safest stairs because they have no handrails or any sides on them. So I sort of tend to, well, because of the hip, I, I go up either on my bum or crawl up them anyway, just so that I don't fall and break the hip. Um, yeah, I went up there to go and check out the thunderstorm because that's what I'm really waiting for. My new my new upstairs thunderstorm view is what I'm looking for. Um, needless to say, there was, I don't know, two claps of thunder and a couple of bits of lightning and then it was that. That was it. So at five o'clock, I went back to bed for half hour, 40 minutes. <laughs> oh dear. So what's it? Always good to have company for dinner prep time. Works perfectly. Well, I'm good that this timing is working for some of you. Um, good morning from Scotland. Hi, Sally. Sandra in Brazil. Hello in Brazil. Good morning. Um, hi from the West Midlands. Lazy Sunday morning stitching. It's great, isn't it? Don't you just love a bit of Sunday morning? Well, I just love weekend stitching because normally when I'm at work, I will sit in my PJs just like you. You know, hair all messy. Quick whiz over with the flannel on the face. Dusty bins on cup of tea or coffee in hand most of the time it's tea admittedly um and stitch my little heart away with floss tube <laughs> it's about the only time i can catch up on floss tube uh so good morning in wells hi cheesa can i ask where you get a thousand and three silks in the uk one zero zero three silks in the uk i don't I've, you might need to Gillian, you might need to be a bit more specific. I've not used 1003 silks. Maybe 1003 isn't something that I should know or, or should know that I don't know. Kimberly, good morning. Susie, good morning from Sweden. Welcome to the stream. Mad Morty. Stitching in Cornwall at the moment might change in five minutes though. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you've got a bit of sun. <laughs> oh. Hello in North Carolina, USA. Wow, do you know what? I'm actually surprised that there's anyone from the USA on this stream because it's it's such an ungodly hour for you. So Jenny Lowe says, Teresa, I lived in Malden a few years ago. We could have been stitching buddies. Do you know what? I need to find more people in my local area, so at least I could, you know, I could go and have a little stitchy session. Oh, admittedly, though, I see this as a stitchy session because I can sit and talk to people. I just have to learn to read better <laughs> or faster. <laughs> so, Tracy, hi from New Zealand. Sunday night, looking forward to working in lockdown tomorrow. Not. Oh, no. Are you going into lockdown? Oh, poor you. I'm pleased to say, so far, touch wood, so far so good. We're 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 still very much out of lockdown, but everyone's just being super cautious still, as they should be. So Amy says a thunderstorm. Not sure if we had one or if it was just wasn't loud enough. <laughs> coffee cut, co coffee craft fabrics. Good morning. I'm currently in my camper van in Ken, in the rain, cup of tea, stitching and watching you. Life is good. Ah, well, at least you get that lovely sound of the rain tapping on the roof of your camper van. Beth, thank you, the lovely stream overlay. I didn't make it, no, it is something that I managed to pick up, but little spoiler, I've, I've organised to get a bit of rebranding stuff going, just so that it's something a bit more customised 
to me and the sorts of things I do. So, so yeah, so I've been, um, I've been, uh, yeah, you'll see in, in due course, a little bit of a rebrand. It's nothing long with a little rebrand is there, but I must admit, I do like my streaming, my streaming, um, intermissions and live stream stuff. I do. It's, it, it's pretty because it's butterflies and yeah. I had a panic over my cross stitch of my elephant. Why, Emma? What happened to the? What happened to your cross stitch? Couple of dabblers. Oh my God! Can't believe you did a stream when I can watch. Well, it's funny that might have had something to do with your comment and a number of other comments. See, I, I hear you, people. I hear you. When you when you when you send me messages and you're like, "Oh, Cheesa, come on," I'm like, "Oh, now I feel bad. Now I'm gonna have to sort that out." <laughs> <laughs> you put me on a guilt trip, what can I say? What a floss up, morning from East Anglia, keeping me company whilst I keep my first hate. Oh, wow. Abstain in the Googles by Jasmine Beckett Griffiths. Eek. They're lovely. They're lovely to stitch. I, I well, I, I did mine. She's up there, but you can't see her. Um, I actually found one of the easier ones to stitch on versus some of the other ones like the Josephine walls are just yeah they're a little heavy going with the confetti at least you've got some blocky colors to work with you'll love it we're in lockdown as of last Tuesday Delta has made it down here oh Tracy I'm so sorry to hear that fingers crossed you won't be in lockdown for long and you'll kick its butt so to speak um, I did an awful thing though. I had to use my cross stitch scissors to open a carton of milk. <gasps> did you really just say that? <laughs> for my tea, for my tea this morning, I feel sick of what I've done. I'm a bad girl. <laughs> if I was to tell you some of the things I've done with my cross stitch scissors, it, it would make your toes your toes curl. Yeah, we've all done it. Don't worry. You're not the first. You will not be the last. Alice in Stitches. Hi everyone from South Africa. 10 a.m. sitting down for my Sunday stitching. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Gillian, sorry, trees are not woke up yet. Avera Schwaz. Ah, the Avera Schwaz. Um, okay, where am I getting my Avera Schwaz lately? I'm trying to think. I think West End Embroidery does Avera Schwaz. And without checking, I think Lakeside Needleworks, do they do it? Let's have a look. Quickly look for you before we start with my stitching. You all just crack on <laughs> with your stitching. I'm just seeing, Googling. Let's have a little look. So Elaine says, I'm stitching on Matilda from not forgotten farm the weather here in the netherlands is also awful so i'm in the mood for fall yeah i'm beginning to wonder whether we're even having any type of um summer this year okay no lakeside needleworks doesn't do a vera Schwarz, does it Um, I'm just thinking, Peakside? No, Peakside doesn't do it, do they? Or does it? Hold on. Yes! Yes, so peaksidenedleworks.co.uk does the Avera Schwarz. I think West End Embroidery does Avera Schwarz. Um, so yeah, I, I just tend to find, I do Google and then I try and find the cheapest, the cheapest place to purchase from, but always be careful of the shipping because some charges more on the shipping. Um, what we got? I'm gathering the start of my first full coverage. Found one that is only 111 by 150, but still scared. You can do this. It's fine. Don't get overwhelmed by the numbers, people. It's just little X's, you know, you know my saying. It's just a little X, just lots of them. So Emma says, I thought the fabric was the wrong way and didn't think she was going to fit, but I did outline of the ears and they fit, thank God. There we go. 
Disaster averted. <laughs> oh, congratulations on 15,000 subscribers. What can... Oh, thank you so, so much. I know, I, I was watching that the other day and was just like, wow, wow, what happened there? So many people, so much love. I'm loving the love, people. I love the love. Okay, so I've had a quick chat. I've watched and I've managed to sort of communicate and multitask this morning. That's got to be a good sign. If I can Google and still answer questions at the same time, I think we're ready to do a spot stitching. What do you reckon? My tiny full coverage is R to C. Mealy loneliness of autumn. Sounds lovely. Oh no, you lost your stitchy bug. Well, you need to get that back. Definitely. We all need to. But then, to be honest, we all have times when we lose it a little bit and it wanes off. We then have to go and find something that re-energizes it. So, yeah, take the time that you need, but then you always know your stitching's there when you want it or when you need it. It's lovely. So Sally says, the patchwork rabbit sells the Ibera Schwarz. Um, can you tell me the name of your lap stand, please? Depends on what one you're talking about, Sally. I've got a number of them. Right, I'm going to flip you over to my stitching and chat whilst I stitch because that is the purpose. <laughs> and since as the last live stream that i done with the US last Sunday and I tried to stitch this and because I was trying to watch the chat and stitch and wasn't really prepared because I didn't have something to to actually mark off I sort of got myself in a bit of a fluff and muddled so as you can see I finished my little bow of part of the uh, the first letter the W for welcome and I'm hoping that I've got my iPad all set up next to me so that I've scanned my chart in so that I can cross off as I go so that I'm less likely to keep making mistakes. <laughs> because, yeah, this whole live streaming is a new thing. And for me to get this right, I need all the help I can get, including you guys. So if all of a sudden I have to go quiet because I'm trying to count then you're going to have to talk amongst yourself. And like I say, because I'm fairly new at this, I do struggle to keep up with the chat. So as I struggle to keep up with the chat, chat if I miss any of your comments, and it was something that you wanted me to answer, then please feel free to ask it again, and hopefully I'll catch it in the chat. Because my chat sort of rolls at the same speed yours does. So... Um, 15k is full capacity at the O2 arena. <laughs> Don't tell me things like that. Now you're making me all rather nervous now. <laughs> but I do feel the love. I feel the love from all the lovely, the lovely people in this community. I really do. They're just, oh, they're so lovely. So welcoming. And accepting. I mean, come on. I'm not a seasoned pro stitcher. Uh, admittedly, I have been stitching for a lot more years now than when I first ever said that, but needless to say, I don't ever feel that I'm really any different to Joe Blog Stitcher, who's fairly new to it. Good morning from Ontario, Canada. It's crazy hot and humid here. Looking forward to fall and more stitching. Melissa, what are you doing awake? Are you a night shift girl or are you just up at an ungodly hour? <laughs> <laughs> Who's jealous of Patchwork Rabbit Open Day? I am. How great would it have been? Do you know what? I actually almost decided to go and then thought well the problem is that I wouldn't mind going if I knew I was going to go there go to the shop and then go for a little stitchy session with someone that would make it worth all that travel but to just drive all that way just to go to a shop say hello pick up some bits and then leave again yeah I couldn't justify it but it did cross my mind I'll, I'll be honest with you Hannah says, how is the extension going? The extension, um, well, it's, it's still going. It's not stopped. Um, there's not much that I can help with. Hubby is now just in the processes. He's been putting the interior walls up. 
So we have some partitioning areas. But again, we're sort of quite governed because we have the stairs, which again are not finished. Um, then we've got the partition walls that have gone in with a bit of plasterboard on one side. But then he needs to do the electrics. And then we have to bring the building inspectors in to see all of that before we can put the insulation in, I think. Or I think the insulation goes in and then the building inspectors have to come. But all of the electrics and all of the interior walls need to be sort of in situ. Um, and then we have to do the insulation and then not cover any of that until the building inspectors have come in and made sure that they're happy. So, so yeah, it's, it's rolling along without me at the moment because... I can't do anything and I'm definitely not an electrician so there's not really much I can do to help along with the fact of the leg yeah that that sort of stops you in your tracks um, let's show that having a stream you can work for the Aussies is a more productive stitch wise <laughs> I don't know about that. I've still got to talk, remember? And and mark off and stitch and watch the chat. Yeah. There, there's still time for this to go severely wrong. So watch this space. Um, it's the grey stand that you use when you're stitching in bed. Oh, Sally, that is my Patoki. Um, my Belka Patoki stand. It is lovely. Um, do you want to see it? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, the grey stand, I must admit, that is an utter deal breaker for my, uh, especially for when I'm stitching in the living room or I want to stitch in here or I want to stitch in bed or I want to go to a retreat. But this new one, this um, Lowry table clamp and, and, and stand bit is great for this. It's great for the streaming and for when I'm sitting in my office. So, I'm, and I'm going to take this also to some stitching retreats. Because I can have this in the table in the stitching room. And then when I need a bit of time out from people. Because some of those stitching retreats, there's so many people and so much chatting that I just have to be like, I need I need some me quiet time. I know. I know it sounds odd, but I do. Sometimes I'm just like, I'll just get a bit overwhelmed by it all. Um, and when I go back to my room and I want to have a chat with hubby on the telephone or whatever, then I can have my little grey patoki stand in the room so that I can do a bit of stitching in there as well. So it's, it's yeah. I like the universal approach of stands now, it appears. Good morning, Daphne. Welcome to the stream. I love the grey stand. I hope I can find him in the Netherlands. Um, you'd need to order it directly from Potoki, uh, Belka Potoki, that I think they've they're I think they're um they're really busy with their orders at the moment. I know that people are, are waiting for them. So um Joseline says, I'm starting to feel excited again to stitch. Really, you should. You should give it a go. Sometimes watching other people stitch is all that you need. It just sort of helps you get bounce back into the, oh, maybe I should. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, look at me. I'm marking, I'm counting, I'm chatting, and I'm stitching. I'm feeling totally accomplished today. Even if I do nothing else all day, this might turn me into a bunch of mush by the time I finish this live stream. But at the moment, we're doing okay. Oh, she says, get off there. Next days. I'm a brand new stitcher, but long time crafter. I've been YouTubing for a year, but only just discovered that floss tube is a thing. You have been missing out. Floss tube is a major thing. Uh, totally enabling, as I'm sure everyone in the chat will tell you. If you've ever gone on to floss tube and not many and managed to watch months and months of floss tube without being enabled and buying something, then then you're a stronger person than me. <laughs> um. 
I thought about going, but it was just so far for a look around the shop. I would have gone for a stitching session and a chat. Still time, still next time, who knows? Carol, you are totally right. Maybe that's what we need to do. When we know that they're doing a shop open day, we should collaboratively get together and say, well, okay, well, we'll book somewhere, even if it's a coffee shop, like nearby, and just sort of go to the shop, do our purchasing, and then do like a little coffee shop stitch with me for a few hours, just to make the, the journey worth it. Good evening from Gulf, from the Golden Coast in Australia. Welcome to the stream. Yes, we've got more Aussies turning up. Good morning from Smoky, California. Good morning for Illinois. Wow. What time do you guys get up in the morning? I thought I was an early bird, but it must be the middle of the night. Hey, Angela. Oh, Cloudy Norfolk. Okay, well, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything then because you've got exactly the same as what we've got. It's, it's dreadful. Okay, got to count, people. Hold on. Come back again. <laughs> Watching you stitch got me started on cross stitching again. I did as a child, but my dad would always have to finish my work. Well, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of help. And how about now? Do you finish it by yourself now? Hi from North Queensland. I got my stand from last month and I'm so happy with it I did order it in November last year so long wait crafting with all kids yes and I, I was aware that because it wasn't just me that sort of brought them to the front of floss tube um, I think the country stitchers did um, a video on it as well and yeah I think it just sort of blew up if I'm honest So they are super, super busy. But I think if it's something that is really, really useful and really handy to stitch with, then it's worth the wait. They really are. Hi Melissa, welcome to the stream from from London. Good morning Carla, how are you? Good morning Susan from Germany, welcome to the stream. Alison Stitches says, was a bit late to the stream, how did your surgery go? Um, the surgery, yes, there's a topic. So I had the surgery, it was agreed that we would try it to see how it panned out. Um, I went back and saw the consultant on Monday and it looks like it didn't work. So currently the deal is I go back and see him in three months time and if nothing is better and it isn't a little bit better in three months then he's just going to pull me in and do the hip replacement and be done with it. Which, in some respects, I sort of wish he'd done in the first place because now I feel like, well, I've took all this time off and been non-weight bearing for so long. Now I've got to spend six weeks trying to work with the physio to get me weight bearing properly with as little pain as possible, only for the possibility of then going back in and having a hip replacement. So it just sort of seems... But, admittedly, he can only do what he can do. He can't do a hip replacement on someone that, in all intents and purposes, from a scan doesn't show that you need a hip replacement. So I do understand, it's just very frustrating and I'm sure my company are gonna love me for that. <laughs> okay, well I've missed a load of the, the chat now. So, um, Cherie, I'm Australian. So this is my first time catching a live. So excited to join you. Welcome to the stream. Carla. It's cloudy in Scotland. I think it's cloudy everywhere at the moment. I think it's just a big cloud over the whole of the UK. Good morning, Trees. I love your projects. You inspire me to cross stitch more and more. I have a few projects on the go and have more insight. Can't can't help myself. Oh, 
I know that feeling. I have that problem all day, every day. <laughs> Just love it that I'm not stitching alone. Oh, Annette, that's nice. It's nice that we're all stitching together. Right, now, am I saying this right, Ida? I'm expecting my Velka Potoki Mini any day now. I've been waiting for 10 months. I'm so excited. Oh, you'll love it. Honestly, sometimes when, when we have to wait for certain things, the waiting is what makes it so that it's even better when you do get it. Well, that's that's my experience. The longer I've waited for something, the more, the more excited I get. But then, <laughs> maybe it's just because I'm easily excitable. So Sally says, I haven't gone to bed yet. What, have you been up all, all night? Sally, are, are you sort of on a... Are we having a wild weekend? <laughs> Hold on, how many have we got? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Making sure we're not going wrong. I do not want to be frogging on this stream. So, oh yeah, come and watch my live stream when you watch me frog everything. Um, Hannah, so excited for the post to arrive so I can start this. Got the pattern for my birthday and ordered my first dinky dyes and first linen. Well, you are going to love your experience of working with the dinky dye silks. Because they're just, oh, they just slide through your fabric like butter. Hi Karen, it's sunny in Torquay in Devon. Not sure how long though. Well, enjoy that sunshine where you have it. Because if it's anything like us, it won't be lasting long. Uh, Bridget, I've I've had it. He can't hold the candle anymore. But I find I finished a piece. Oh no, it's just moved. Guys, stop talking a minute. <laughs> but I finished a piece as a present for my mum, and now working on Story Keep after watching your series on full coverage. Oh, I'm so pleased. Working on your full coverage. We we love a good full coverage here. Laura, hello from Australia. Jules, the the craft stitcher morning from mid wales lovely the stream time is so perfect it was finishing dinner with hubby then checking my phone and was surprised that i received a notification that you're doing a stream stop looping immediately oh i'm so pleased that it's working for everyone oh carla it was great to hang out with you yesterday i enjoyed the stream yesterday although i kept getting interrupted which I really hate when I'm sitting there, you know, settling myself down for things and then then got interrupted. So although I was I was watching your stream, every now and then I was dipping away and then coming back and then dipping away again. So, yeah. It's at that point, it's like, everyone just leave me alone. Give me a few hours. I'm waiting for my stand in the mail. I'm going to try two-handed stitching. Do you think it makes stitching faster? It, well, I only ever really learnt to stitch uh, two-handed. And whenever I try and stitch using one hand, it is the slowest experience of my life. I have to be completely honest. But I suppose it depends on how fast you are stitching with one hand, one-handed stitching. But most people that can and do switch over to two-handed stitching always say that they find that their stitching is faster because you're using your two hands and lots of people ask me how i do my stitching two-handed and i am right-handed and i have my dominant right hand under my fabric and i use my left hand on top because because i'm dominant with the right it tends to know what it needs to do Whereas with the left hand, to try and have the left hand under my stitching, just, yeah, it sort of doesn't really know what it's supposed to be doing. So it's easier to look at the left hand and see where you need to go to get stuff. So whatever is your dominant hand, try and keep that one underneath your work. But it really is dependent on personal preference. I suppose if you've never stitched two-handed, you might find that it works the other way better for you. But whatever way works. But... My experience is, whichever is your dominant hand, that is the hand that I'll have at the back because it tends to behave itself and know exactly what it needs to do. And just take it slowly. 
it is like a learning curve to start with for everything isn't it so give yourself enough time to sort of practice with it and get into a flow before you make a wholehearted decision of whether two-handed stitching is a yes or a no for you um if you do need the hip replacement please ask them if you can get the surgery from the front of your like not the back it makes a world of difference um i think they do my one specifically because they're going to use the um ceramic hip on mine and apparently i think they do go in from the front when they do that surgery or my surgeon does anyway my mum had her first surgery via the back and it took six months to fully recover the second was from the front and took six weeks to recover yeah see that is the thing i have been told by my physio because i was a bit not depressed but i was a bit moody or just disappointed when i found out the news um that it could be that i was going back in all over again to suffer again he he's his viewpoint on it was well trees are look at least you know that your hip recovery like hip replacement recovery surgery you'll be back on your feet faster than you are with the surgery that i've just had so so yeah so at least i've got something to look forward to it won't be as long and drawn out at least i'll be more able-bodied almost straight away admittedly suffering in total pain because it's the way it goes but i'm sure i can handle that good morning from sunny sussex I finally made a live hi carol welcome to the stream i'm waiting for my stand in the mail oh i've done that one sorry oh my god i've actually made it to one of your live streams hi erin welcome to the stream please at last you've managed to catch one i'm trying to make it so that i'm doing them so that they're not always in the evening time uk so that it allows for those of you in australia um, and other places in the world to join the streams so i think what i'm going to try and do is if if this works for for everyone then my plan is that one week i'll do one in the morning and one week i'll do one in the evening and then that way everyone should be able to join a stream at some point admittedly for some people i think this ungodly time in the morning is too early for them because everyone likes a lay-in on a sunday so we will see we will see what the what the comments say this time around and see if it's if it's worked and everyone's happy with the timing hi mary welcome from spain oh thank you how's the weather is the weather better over there than it is over here we've got cloud and do you know what it's actually much chillier yesterday yesterday afternoon it rained all day pretty much all day here um but it was it was really humid and muggy so i had to have the doors open because it was still like 21 22 degrees but hot and sun um but humid with rain but today today is much much fresher much fresher feels like it's about 16 or 17. so yeah the british weather can't make up mind it's what it's doing but then no, nothing's nothing new there is there um do you have oh oh hold up where's that gone do you have a mirabilia tutorial video just like a full coverage um no i don't in all honesty um because i consider that the mirabilias are no different really to any of the other other stitching you know you get the, the called for fabrics and thread and then you get started stitching wherever you like to stitch in the middle And then if you do skin, some people choose to do their skin one over one. Some choose to do it two over one. But I think because, because the mirabilias or the ladies are very much like any other chart such as this one. Where once you get going. And to be honest, in all honesty, I'm absolutely useless at backstitch. So there's no point in me sort of saying, okay, do this, do that. And then when you get to the backstitch, do this. Because... If you see the state of my mirabilia and her arms and the back stitch, I'm not the person to tell you the easiest way. I know there is a version of couching that people do now rather than rather than actual back stitch to sort of get the curves in the back stitch to 
replicate better for that for the limbs um yeah i just get frustrated in all honesty <laughs> but i still do though talk about send myself down rabbit holes <laughs> Sharon says, I went to an open oh, I went to the open day at the Patchwork Rabbit. They arranged for the room to be available in a pub about 100 yards from the shop. I drove from Hornchurch with my friend Susie, met other shoppers in the pub. Oh, Sharon, why did I not know? And if we're talking Susie, is that Susie Susie? The Susie that I know from Hornchurch? Because if it is, I'm now kicking myself because I could have gone. <laughs> Hi Mandy, welcome to the stream. Um, hi from Smoky, California. Oh, how, how are you doing? How's, how's it all going over there? We've seen it on the news, but it's, it's, it's very brief as to what they tell us. I normally do two handy stitching, but I had my second jab yesterday, so I'm only able to do one hand today and it's really slow. If you're a two-handy stitcher and you're being succumbed to stitching one-handed, yeah, I can see how that might be slowing you down. But fingers crossed your arm your arm will come back to life very, very soon. And you'll be fully vaccinated. Um, what's the name of the pattern? may I ask looks great this one is um, welcome Christmas by the drawn thread Carla it's I'm sort of falling down rabbit holes because I'm being totally enabled these days it appears on all sorts of things and I'm sitting here stitching Christmassy things in end of August so unlike me crafting with Natalie welcome to the stream so pleased you could Matt you could join us and good morning from London And Mandy's doing her first ever Little County cross stitch and she's loving it. Good for you. I'm pleased that you found something that you're loving. It's always good to love something. Right, hold on. I've got a count. One, one, two, three, need to stay on track so that I don't mess this up because you know how easy it happens for me. So Joe says, I'm right handed dominant but keep my right hand on top. Oh, Joe, see, there you go. Like I say, all personal preference. What works for one doesn't always work for another. I've just found that for me, having my dominant hand at the back is what works. But you have to try both ways to work out what you, what you find your, your brain works with easiest. But it's good to know that there are right-handed stitchers, a right-hand dominant that stitch with their dominant hand at the top and their non-dominant hand underneath. I love that everyone's different. It's so cool. Susan, good morning from Susan, medical secretary from Instagram friend. Hello there, Susan. Welcome to the stream couple of dabblers says I'm right handed but I think because I somehow started with my left hand under the fabric now I can only do it that way tried using my right hand underneath and couldn't do it again I think it's it's a personal preference thing and for some people it's just what what makes sense some people though you might be right hand dominant by having your right hand on the top makes more sense but when I try and do it I mean let's just try just I'm just gonna try this now so I've now got my right hand on the top and my left hand on the bottom. I see everything feels awkward already. So let's let's try this and see. Yeah, see, I can't do it. I can't even work out where my needle needs to go. Hold on. Yeah, but now my hand's in the way. Am I doing my stitch? Yeah, see, I'm losing my orientation when I do it this way. That's better. See? Just goes to show. I think if I persevered with it, it would be nice to think I could be ambidextrous, but I don't think so. I have a certain way that I do it, and I'm so much faster when I've got my right hand at the bottom. But give it a go. So if, if you're looking to do two-handed stitching, there isn't a right or wrong way. Try using your left hand, 
see how hard that is, then try flipping it over and do it with your right hand underneath and see whether that helps. Um... Hi Erin, welcome to the stream. Hi Bianca, how you doing? So good to see you. Haven't stitched since Mars, I've lost my stitchy bug. Oh, yeah, but you're doing um, diamond painting, aren't you? So although you, although you might have lost your stitchy bug a little bit, you're still diamond painting. So it's, it's all about the craft, isn't it? It's not necessarily what we're doing. And I'm sure over time it comes back. But it's nice for you to join the stream. I've always found that whenever my stitchy bug has waned, I mean, I can honestly say I haven't really lost my stitchy bug. Um, I think the only time I sort of lost it was obviously when I lost fudge, but that was more, it was too upsetting to sit there and stitch without him being sat there with me. It wasn't that I didn't want to stitch, it's just every time I did, I burst into tears. Um, which is a slightly different thing to losing your, your stitchy bug because you don't even have the urge that you want to stitch. I like it in the morning, but I never sleep late. I always catch your lives on replay anyway. Oh, I'm so pleased that you're an early bird like me. <laughs> I can't sleep late, even if I try. It just doesn't work. I tend to find that if I do manage to, well, I, I can't even tell you the last time I actually managed to sleep late. But the last time that I did sleep late, I ended up with a headache all day long and it just wasn't worth it. And I always feel like I've been cheated. I feel like I've cheated myself out of half the day. I'm so used to getting up at five o'clock in the morning that then all of a sudden, if I don't get up until late, it's like half the day is missing. And then before I know it, it's, it, you know, it's time for me to go to bed. And I'm like, but I don't feel like I've had the whole day. So yeah, I'm not a late sleeper. But it's good that you've caught one of the lives. And it's good that you've caught one of the lives where I've actually managed to stitch. And not frog. That's always good. So I just need to get into the flow of doing these so that I can talk and watch the chat and stitch all at the same time without making boo-boos. And this is all true. So I love that once a week, once a week, a live stream is just like stitching with a friend in the room. Well, fingers crossed, fingers crossed that this, this sort of um, continues. The only bit that worries me about sort of committing myself to things like this is then come come the time that I go back to work it's it's going to be as long as I've got the time to still be able to do it which I think if I've got a setup where it's all set up and I don't need I mean that's the beauty because I haven't been working in my office instead of taking all the cameras down and doing all the faff I've been leaving it up so as long as I can find a way to keep everything left up and still work in my office when I need to. I don't think it'll be a problem to do lives. Of course, it's always a bit more tricky when Darren's around because he's so noisy, but maybe I could just, instead of doing like a two hour live stream, it would be like an hour just so that at least I've managed to sort of pop on and have a stitching chat with everyone and not ask him to be quiet for too long because he won't last. It's like a child. He's like, can I make noise now? Can I make noise now, please? <laughs> Yay, we've got a whole side of a letter. I'm so excited. Yay me, I'm going to give myself a round of applause that I've managed to complete that without completely fluffing it up. <laughs> Hi Shirley from Maine in the USA. It's 5am here. Wow, you're an early bird as well. I'm loving these early birds. I've forgotten what a lay-in is. I've got an eight-year-old and a three-year-old. Yeah, see, that sort of tends to be the problem when you have kids, isn't it? Maybe that's the problem, is that most of us have got kids or had kids 
And that's the thing. I think even when you've had children, you don't really get out of the... Well, I, I found that once I was in a, in, a, in a thing where I just had to had to get up at ridiculous times it's just I continue doing the same thing oh this is a bit more tricky right next to the corner isn't it okay welcome to the back of my work people <laughs> let's get this ended here see yeah okay let's have a slip of my coffee hold on Susan says hi Teresa thanks for change in the time for your stream I mean Sydney Australia you are more than welcome like I say I think as long as I can try and make it so that I do one in the morning and one in the evening alternate weeks and if I've got more time and I fancy doing I don't know one on a Saturday morning and one on a Sunday evening then I'll do that but I think I'll just sort of play it by ear but if I can try and make it so that every Sunday there will be a live stream it'll either be aligned more to my Australian friends and my New Zealand friends or it will be more aligned to the US and the Canadian friends and then everyone else that sits in the middle of that will have a choice of picking which one that they go with so um, I have my eyes on the mermaid box from Chatelaine but it costs way too much so I might get it for my 30th birthday next year do you know what Chatelaine's for birthdays are always a good option because it's like that way it's like no you can buy that for me for my birthday especially a big birthday such as 30 so Laura says, what time do you go to bed if you're up at 5 a.m.? I normally go to bed about half 11, between half 11 and 12 o'clock, and then I'm, I'm up before 4, well, say before 4, before 5. Normally I start stirring at somewhere between sort of half past 4 and quarter to 5, but for me to lay in bed past 5.30, yeah, that's unusual. I find it really difficult once I'm awake to, to get to lay there. I know a lot of people that they say, well, if you lay there long enough, you'll go back off to sleep. I can't lay there. I just get all fidgety. And then I, then I disturb the hubby and then he gets humped with me. So um, what happened to your diamond painting camper van you were doing? Um, still doing it, admittedly. It's, yeah, it's sitting away, hidden away somewhere. I just haven't quite got round to wanting to do it. You know when it's just like, I just don't feel, not that I don't feel that it's for me. I just, I'm not drawn to it overly. I know that doesn't sound like a very nice thing to say. I don't mean it like that, but you know, and it's like I'm, I'm so busy with my stitching that I'm like, I don't have time to do diamond painting as well. And I'm not prepared to give up my stitching time. So, but yeah, I just haven't felt the love for that. I tried it. It's not to say that I won't do it and I won't go back to it because I probably will at some point. I mean, admittedly, I was doing it for my neighbour anyway, and he had no idea that I was doing it for a present for him. So, so it doesn't really matter whether it gets done or doesn't get done, because it was a... The only one that I do want to do is there was a picture of a, of a Blenheim Cavalier, King Charles Spaniel, with a red rose, which reminds me so much of my little Chester, like my dog that I lost five years ago. Fudgy's best friend. Um, I would like to get that one done. But again, it's one of those things that all the time that I'm so busy with so many of my cross-stitch projects, um, I'm in no rush to turn my hand to diamond painting, if I'm honest. But hey, I'll never say never because I know what I'm like. Because I have spits and spurts sometimes where I just fancy turning my hand to something different. But at the moment, I'm all for my stitching in case you hadn't gathered. I 
I can't sleep late. I have been doing paperwork for next term since 6am. You stopped me, so thank you. <laughs> You're not supposed to be working on a Sunday morning, Carol. That's a job for a non-Sunday. Take some time for you. It's you time. That's how I see it. Thank you so much for your mini series, Teresa. I've gotten back into stitching again after 25 years and I now recommend it to others who are starting out. Thank you, Claire. I'm so pleased that it's helped you in some way. That was... I only put them out there because there were so many people, well, if it was anything like me, when I was trying to find out everything I needed to know to do full coverage, um, it wasn't like a one-stop shop and everything was in the right place to find out everything I needed to know. Um, so I decided to do it, but without really realising that I was gonna, I was gonna get the response that I did. So, so I just thank you all for for sitting there and putting up with all my waffling in those videos. But if they help people, then that was that was the plan. And if if it anything that I say to anyone that helps them, anything that makes someone's life a little easier is always yeah, it's always nice. I'm the same. Late for me is 7am and I get a migraine if I oversleep. I guess it's just what your body gets used to. Don't know if there's a way of switching it back to sleeping late. I'm not sure I'd want it to go back to, to switching back to late, if I'm honest. Um, more so as well, because obviously I work in the city, I have to be up at 5 o'clock in the morning when I go into London. So I think if I, if I was then to try and lay in on a weekend, I think I would struggle more to get up for work during the week which no not an option for me I'm alright with getting up nice and early I get so much done and the fact that like everyone else is asleep is great because I find that I'm easily distracted when the family get up as soon as everyone's up and doing it's like whatever I was doing I tend to stop doing what I'm doing and then get distracted or yeah so I like my me time. And there's definitely no one awake at that ridiculous time in the morning in this house other than myself, which is great. Are you going to stitch on this piece each week? Um, I'll probably switch it out, Hannah. Um, and do other stuff. But at the moment it was just that I wanted to make a dent in this. Or I could use this project all the time. It depends. Depends on what, what other people's preference is. If they'd like to see me stitching on Hades and other stuff, then of course happy to do that. I think I just have to go with whatever whatever calls me. Because I am very much a although I I do like to sort of make sure that everything gets a little bit of love. And I did have my whip go, which I had to abandon this year because after losing fudge and then not stitching, it was just like, well, this is pointless because I didn't, I didn't meet the requirements. Um, I didn't meet the requirements because I was doing the build work for those months. And then when I lost fudge, then again, I didn't stitch. So I was just like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna scrap the whip go this year and re-pick it up next year. But I'm, I'm loving the fact that although I'm not following the whip go, I'm still managing to sort of like make my focus pieces focus pieces. But it has sort of made it so that I'm, I'm not adverse to having a new start either. Which is, yeah, which is great. I mean, I must admit this one is a bit of a go slow because I'm working with a variegated thread. So because it's a variegated thread, I have to do the full cross for each stitch. Whereas on some of my other stuff, I can do all the half stitches, I'll stitch the outlines even, and then sort of sit and stitch and just fill in the blocks. But I don't know. I think the more, the more I get used to doing the live streams where I'm stitching and marking and chatting and looking at the, looking at the chat, I think the easier this will get. So, yeah. One more colour, and then I'll have the first diagonal preps. 
prepared, getting closer to actually starting, I think. That's great. Love to see that you're getting ready to start. You might have said already, but what is the count on that fabric? Mm, good question. What is the count on this fabric? Let me find out. I think it's a 28 count. Yeah, so the fabric, this fabric that I'm stitching on is a 28 count Brittany Lugana in the colorway Pearl by Pole Stitches. It's a really lovely fabric. Going to retreats notwithstanding, of course, unless you can live stream from there. I don't know whether I could live stream from um, <laughs> from, from a retreat. I probably could. Well, no, no. I think I think I think yeah. When I go to my retreats, I think you can all cut me some slack. But what I might try and do, so there is a cunning plan. When I know that I'm going to go to a retreat, I could always switch my live stream to a weeknight or something. I wouldn't necessarily be able to do it on a weekday morning though, because work. You know, that horrible thing that I still have to do. I really do need to find something. Find a way, like win the lottery so that I don't have to go to work anymore. I must admit, if I, if I didn't need to go to work, I think if, you know, money was no object, I would find a very local shop near to me and open my own stitching shop like cross stitch shop that's got threads and it's got designs and I would just do it for the sake of doing it not because I want it to make me money I would just do it so that I could meet like minded people and sit in my little shop and do stitching at lunch times and yeah I would love that I would love to have my own little stitching shop but I just don't think that there's enough of a call for it and the overheads are just so expensive nowadays that it's just more and more of it is going online. So it must be really difficult to keep these shops open. But I would love to have a stitching shop. You know, where we did a bit of everything. A bit of fabric, a bit of finishing products, threads, charts, fabrics. I'd love that. That would be like my ideal, my ideal way of living now because I wouldn't see that as a job. Sitting there playing with all the things and talking to like-minded people, it would not be what I would consider to be a, like a job. It would be like a pastime. I can't think of anything more fun. But hey, just, just saying. <laughs> Don't think it's likely to happen. <gasps> Um, talking with kids, I moved from kitting cross stitches to building a Lego calf with my six year old with a sneaky earbud in so I can still listen. Oh, the joys! The joys of Lego. Um, I have diamond painting in drawers too, not caught the bug to continue them either. Too busy stitching. Yeah, I think, I think that is the way for some people. So I, I started it and I tried it. And at the time I was like, yeah, it's not bad, but yeah, I still, my, 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 my love is still, you know, that therapeutic moment for me to do what I want to do is still revert back to the stitching. I find this very therapeutic. Whereas the diamond painting, I was just like, I, I used to get backache as well because I was always ste stooping over to make sure that I got my diamond like tile thing straight on in the square. So I'm trying to alternate between stitching and diamond painting, but finding it really hard. Never enough time in the week for all the projects that I want to work on. Yeah, see, that would be me. I would hate to feel like I'm being torn, or that I feel like I have to do, or I should do. There is no have to, is there? Come on, that's personal choice. Okay, hold on, counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One. All right, let's see what we can do about clearing some of these messages that you've sent me. Are you still working on your paper crafts, the cards that you made were beautiful? I, to be honest, I haven't. 
I haven't as yet. I've done some. I've done some birthday cards, um, just like ad hoc when I needed them, um, but I haven't actually done any. But then, the only thing that I find with that is in this little room because it's a little office stroke craft room. I tend to find that when I'm doing the card making, it gets really, really messy. At least with the stitching. At the end of it, other than throwing my alts in my alt jar. Everything else just goes into my project bag and can go away. And other than the like equipment for like the live streams, which if I can just leave them up or just sort of stand them to one side, it's not a problem. Whereas when I'm doing paper crafts, yeah, there's a whole there's a whole ton of mess, whole ton of mess. I need a bigger craft room for it. Working on it, people. I'm working on it. Trees, that how's your mum doing? Emma, yes, mummy is doing okay. Um, we went to the doctors to get her MOT done, so to speak. Um, there's a couple of little bits and pieces that they're looking into, but um, yeah, she's she's doing okay. She's gunning to get outside and you know go off out a bit more now that obviously the build work's done. She was struggling to go down the sideway on her mobility scooter because of all the stuff that was in the way. Um, it wasn't that she couldn't get out, it was just it was a bit of a faff. Um, so now that she can get out and about, I think she's looking to sort of make sure that she starts sort of getting out a few times a week to make sure that she, you know, goes and gets a breath of fresh air and, you know, taxes her brain a little more than just sort of sitting indoors and, and watching TV or, you know, sorting her drawers out. She does love to be very organised. Everything has a place and everything is in a place now. You know, that was, she's always been that way, but it's even more so now. Um, she can't afford for anything to be moved around because otherwise she can't ever find anything. So, so yeah, so she has to stay very organised and very methodical. So she spends a lot of time sort of making sure that everything is in its place. But I can relate to that because I get really frustrated if I feel that everything's everywhere. It just turns into chaos and then I can't find anything. And I mean, to be honest, that is one of the jobs that I really do need to do whilst I'm off and not back to work is to sort out my stitching cupboard because there is just bits and pieces that I've been looking for recently and I can't find them. And I'm like, well, I know they're here somewhere. And I, I find that very frustrating when I can't find what it is that I'm looking for. That tells me that it's not well organised. Needs reorganising. Actually, it was diamond painting that led me back to cross stitch. I was enjoying the colours and the spaces, but I'm not fond of sparkles. Give me fabric any time. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I feel that. Happy the. Happy to catch the live chat on Stitching On Forever More Long Dog Sampler, but I'm doing it in a different colour way. Welcome to the stream. Tuning in from New Zealand. Hi from New Zealand. Barbara T, can you show again how you start or explain how you start with your new floss strand? What what I'm doing at the moment, what with the, the two strands or if I'm doing a loop start, then obviously I'll use a loop, but I can't use a loop on this because this is a variegated thread. So I'm doing the pin stitch on this one. But if that's what you mean, of course I'll show you a pin stitch on the next on the next um, thread. Okay, now now you're seeing how I get back up to where I want to without changing the thread. Uh, I'm a firm believer in stitching what you want when you want. Yep, I hear you. I was watching one of your old videos and saw that you had a stitching time by Amy Stewart. Have you managed to stitch any of it yet? Sylvia, no, I haven't, in all honesty. Um, it is a monster, isn't it? It is huge. So in my mind's eye, I promised myself that when I finished something such as Alternative Reality that I would then start on my, 
hold up. There we go. Um, when I start on my, or when I finish Alternative Reality, sorry, I will start on my Amy Stewart because it is so big. I will need to start it soon because otherwise I won't, I won't finish it by the time I'm no longer of this earth because it's that big. But I'll probably do that one in 10 stitch and not full, full cross purely because the size of it I would need to it would need to be started and finished in half stitch to have any any chance of actually completing the piece but to be honest I don't really sort of think of my projects mostly that way I just enjoy the process of stitching them you know and if if they don't get finished in my lifetime. I have I have given my child instruction. I've given her instruction that no matter what, if and when something happens to me, because at some point it will, she's not to just give all my stuff away to goodwill. She's to contact everyone on YouTube, or FlossTube, and on my Facebook group, and notify everyone that I've, I'm of no longer of this earth and that I've instructed her that people that really want the stuff that I was stitching on, I want them to have a choice of if anyone would like to take it off of their hands and look after it for me or use the items or finish stitching it for me so that nothing ever goes to waste. And I want it to go to someone that understands the time and effort that went into however much I'd completed on a on a project do you know what I mean is it just me that sees it that way because I think sometimes when people see stuff well they're not really stitchers or not stitchers up you know avid stitchers I don't really think people understand the amount of time effort and love that we poured into our work it's not something that's sort of finished in five minutes See now I've made that stitch a little, that's it. Wasn't happy with that one. Okay, let's get some of these questions over with. Um, good early morning from Pennsylvania. So what time in the morning is it now in Pennsylvania then? Is that, oh, I don't know. My brain's turned off to be able to tell you. Can I just ask, what clamp are you using on your Lowry stand, a side or corner one? I use a Q-snap and I'm wondering which one is best. This is a corner clamp that I'm using on mine. And it's not a floor stand, it's a table clamp. So I'm using the table clamp on the table and then I have the corner clamp on my stitching. Let me see if I can show it to you. Yeah, you can't really see it very well, can you? But yeah, so I've got the corner clamp. I think I showed it on my last Floss 2 video. There we go. Um, that's my dream too, to win the lottery and open a craft shop. I would love that. I can't think of anything more delightful and just, you know go to my craft shop every day and sit and stitch and serve customers and talk to people and email stuff and send stuff out in the post all that lovely fabric floss and fun what can I say I think if you owned a stitching shop you won't have enough time to stitch at all <laughs> do you reckon I don't think so I don't over here there isn't the need or the desire I don't think that they have either in America or some other work parts of the world. I think if I took it online as well But the thing is is you have to know where to have got everything see now I've messed this up. Hold on a minute people There we go So I would need to know where I can source my materials from source the stuff first So that would take a bit of time wouldn't it? But then I think once you've got it all set up and you've got all your stock and you've got your, you know, you're a stockist for certain certain brands and companies, then I think, I think, yeah. 
I, w I think I would still have time to sit and stitch whilst I'm in the shop. Just at lunch at least, come on. Or I could do like stitchy sessions as well. See, that would be the other thing. There's lots of people that love a good Wednesday afternoon stitching session. So I could do that. And I could live stream from the shop as well. So it would be like a stitchy, a stitchy group with live stream. Can you imagine? That would be so much fun. Okay, let me count. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, you can do a short live stream report. <laughs> Just got back into cross stitch after failing the first project. I started years ago thanks to your channel. Now I'm trying to work up the guts to have two projects going at once. Do you know what? Once you do, you'll be like, I've got two, then you've got three, then you've got four, and before you know it, you'll have way more than you ever thought. How's your knitting going? It's not. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not knitting anything. I think I need like a, a full on knitting buddy that I can you know not just ring up and say what do I do here I need someone on hand because it goes terribly wrong whenever I knit anything as you know my knitting is yeah that requires like full-on full-on assistance like one-to-one -one classes Okay, so Barbara says, yes, the pin start, please. I normally do loop start. Okay, when I get to the end of this thread, I will show you how I do it. I think I've shown it before in some of my other Stitch With Me's, but I will, I will run over it with you for those of you that are interested in how I start my thread. Five forty-three a.m. Cynthia, you are up and early. Up with the early bird. I hope you've got some excitement going on today that requires you to be up at such a time. Oh, well, that is a wonderful idea about life after death. Who will inherit my stash? Yeah, see, that's how I see it. I would love for someone to have my stuff that would then continue it, you know, because inevitably I'm not going to have all my projects finished. It won't happen like that. There will be something that is unfinished, mostly unfinished. And it would be nice to think that there would be someone in the community that would willingly and happily want to take you know my part finish and turn it into a finish and then you know keep it and look after it and yeah I would love that but I've told Lauren that's what she has to do she has to send a floss tube message out to everyone and she has to go on my Facebook and she has to go on my YouTube channel and do a video and post it for everyone so that they know and she has to organise it and sort it all out. Hello from New Jersey. A lovely 5.43am in the morning. The Stitchy Witch says, Teresa, you could combine a craft and coffee shop. Do you know what? That would be a great idea, wouldn't it? Although I'm not very good at being... Um, being a... What do they call them? A barrister. A barista. Yeah, I wouldn't be very good at that. I'd have to hire someone to do the coffee bit. Love the craft coffee shop mini craft afternoon idea. It would be great, wouldn't it? Like I say, I need to win the lottery. I have to do the lottery to win the lottery. Everything I wake... 
everything I wake down to the beach, I see an empty shop. Everything I wake down to the beach, I see an empty shop, I will. See, now that would be nice. Can you imagine having a stitching shop on the beach? Kelly, that's a good plan. I need to find somewhere by the sea that has a little empty shop that we could do coffees outside and stitching outside and then have an inside as well. Yes. My daughter knows where my important paperwork is when I leave this earth and there are instructions on who receives my cross stitch projects and stash. Yeah, see, I don't want to make it so that Lauren has to make the decision of who's going to get my cross stitch patterns and whatever. I would like it so that she posts something on floss tube and ask people to shout out who wants what and then let Lauren do like a a giveaway <laughs> uh, would you call it a giveaway I'm not quite sure what you'd call it but basically anyone that wants a certain thing that everyone gets a chance but at least that way if they've actually said yes I want that it will definitely go to someone that's going to love it and want it and and finish the piece not just for me but for their self as well so yeah but it's a great idea I mean I don't think I would have any one person in mind that I would want because not everyone there isn't one person that's gonna like all of the things that I do so that my my my, my thought on it was well if I if I say to Lauren she has to post a floss tube video so that people can sort of say what they're looking for, say what they're happy with, what they would do, what they'd take off her hands. And then Lauren would send it out to, you know, to those that want it rather than giving everything that I own to a couple of people and then half of it would eventually just end up in somebody's drawer, unfinished. I'd hate that. Not after I've spent years of my life stitching on something and then it ends up in somebody's drawer and then eventually it'll end up in in sort of a charity shop or a goodwill shop no wouldn't like that wouldn't like that at all but hey let's be honest here i'm sitting here saying i wouldn't like that but i wouldn't be around so i don't think it would bother me that much i wouldn't be none the wiser Now is it me or does that look extremely close? I think it's just me. Not that I'm panicking that I'm going in the wrong place, people. Teresa, thanks for the advice about hay designs and I've ordered a regular chart on 28 count so now I'm waiting on fabric and floss can't get can't get it in Denmark what you can't get the fabrics or floss in Denmark do you know what I've been looking for some 36 count fabric like linen and for the life of me I can't find anywhere that's got any not not in a like where you can order a certain colour that you want and also a big piece so it needs to be I think it needs to be 30 by 31 inches is what I need and for the life of me I can't find anywhere that has got any 36 count linen so yeah I'm a little like oh that's a problem oh, hold on stop there Every time I walk down to the beach, I see an empty shop and said, if I had the money, I would buy it and set up people who could come for stitchy holidays. That, Yeah, Tracy, that... Oh, sorry, Kelly, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? I would love that. Although I'm not sure I'd want to set people up to have a stitchy holiday because then you'd have to... You'd feel obliged to sort of sort them all out. I wouldn't want that. I'm quite happy with them just coming to the shop and having a coffee and a stitch. Look at that, that's looking, I like this. I'm liking this, this chart already. 
Hi, Teresa. My friend Karen and I have craft sessions at my house every Tuesday from Susan across the Thames. Oh, that's lovely. Susan says, I can teach you to knit socks. I've made loads. Yeah, not at distance you can't. I'm useless. <laughs> my daughter's a stitcher, so when I die, she's probably going to be like, mine, it's all mine. Yeah, see, my daughter isn't a stitcher at all. So I'm never going to have to worry about Lauren being like, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. It's not her bag. Now, if I was playing computer games, however... That would be a totally different ball game. Cynthia says, oh, Cynthia's saying hi from Pennsylvania. Lots of empty shops in Gravesend, thanks to COVID. Yeah, unfortunately that seems to be the problem. If I won the lottery, I want to buy a big country house and run Cornwall stitching retreats. That would be nice. I would have the nice big country house anyway. But I would want a country house that sits over the sea. I quite like the idea of living near the sea. Hello from British Columbia, 2.52 a.m., and you have insomnia. You must have to be up at that time in the morning. Um... Hi Susie, how you doing? Hi Teresa, try patchwork, patchwork rabbit for the 36 count. I was there yesterday and bought a few and placed an order too. Speak to Carla. What, do you mean if I speak to Carla, she'll be able to order me the size that I need? Because I looked on their website and although they've got fabrics, they haven't got the size that I need. So in Germany, I can get the fabric and I think they have a 36 count linen. But, oh, okay, maybe I need to go to Germany for my fabric then. I have actually reached out to um, XG Designs to see whether I could order some. But I'll need to wait until she's online to to pick that message up. Because I've never tried x Designs fabrics either. So maybe that's another... It's a, it's a good excuse to try a different, um, a different vendor. Or a different supplier. And I hear great things about x Designs. And that people love her fabrics. So it might just be... It might just be the time to try something different. I live in Dagenham Trees. I can meet for a cuppa and a, and a, and a knitting sock. Okay. Might have to take you up on the knitted sock bit. Although, like I say, my knitting is not great, as you've, as you've all seen. You've all seen my knitting. It's horrifying. It's arguably not even knitting. Oh, hello, I've got a little wiggly bit there. There we go. Oh, okay. I've been knitting socks for over the last few days. Lost my stitchy bag. Trying to finish the last part of the Dark Queen of the Sea. Back stitch and beading socks. All right, I'm going to let you all in on a little secret now. So, spoiler alert coming. So you know how much I was like, I need to finish Andromeda. She is like the bane of my life. We have this horrible love-hate relationship of which most of the time she's in time out or I'm hating her. Well, I finished all the stitching. I finished all the back stitch in a sort of weird way. I just sort of threw it in because I didn't care what it looked like. Um, and I have been beading her all weekend. So to come and sit and stitch with you guys has been heavenly to sit and stitch and not be doing beading with invisible thread. Not to say that I don't enjoy a bit of beading, but it's like, yeah, it's nice to come and have a bit of stitchy time. So when I get off of this stream, my plan is to go and finish the beading of Andromeda, no matter what. Today I need her done 
because in all honesty when I get to the end of this month which is what the end of next week so at the end of next week I'm supposed to be doing my floss tube update where I sit and show everyone all the great stuff that I've been working on and I've been doing and the fact that I'm actually at home there's no excuse I should have you know stitched up a storm so to speak and in all honesty the only project that I've stitched on give or take a few stitches on a few other projects is Andromeda I've got absolutely zero to show you it's gonna be like I say it's the smallest video but I always say my videos are gonna be short and then they never are because I'm forever waffling <laughs> But there you go, spoiler, I have been beading like a crazy woman. Right, I can't, can't remember who it was that wanted to see how I do my um, pin stitch. So I'm not sure that I can get this camera down any lower. I, don't, I can't, so this is as good as we're going to get it. So basically, it doesn't matter whether I'm using one strand or two strands. So I've literally just, this is two strands. And... It's literally two separate strands going in the same direction of the variegation. Okay. So to do my pin stitch, so I know that my pin stitch, well, my, my next stitch is going in this square here. So because I'm working on an even weave, I want to use the middle holes because the middle holes when you're stitching over two don't ever get used because you're stitching the opposites of each of those. So I'll go to the square that I know I need to fill, and pick the middle row and go into the middle hole like so. And then I will leave my towel sticking out there and give myself enough room to hold that towel. Let me see if I can move this up a bit like so. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my needle up in the hole directly next to it on the right. Again, we're in the middle. So if you look at where, I, where my needle is, it's in the middle of the square next to it. So that way I know I'm still running in my middle holes. Bring my needle up and then I'm going to take it straight back down the hole that the towel is coming out of like that so it gives me like a little a little straight stitch and then I'm going to do the other thing on the other side so I'm going to bring my needle up on the left hand side of where the towel sits or where the towel's coming out I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to take it back down the hole with the towel sticking out see and that is my pin stitch now I can tug on that towel, make sure that it's nice and tight, which it is, and then just cut this bit off as close as you can. And then I start my stitch. And because, because the pin stitch is running in the middle, my, my cross goes straight over the top of it diagonally first leg and then my second leg and then that's it and then we're off again so that's how I do my pin stitch I hope that helped you um, so Fiona8755 on eBay has some 36 count. She's a good seller for the UK. So hold on, let me write that down. See, do you know what? I come so prepared because we always get into these debates and conversations. And if I don't write it down, I forget. So hold on. So Fiona. Eight on eBay. Perfect. See what would I do without my floss tube friends? Dishing out all my help and advice. Susie says, yes, I'm going to send her a fabric link and she's going to try and get it for me. Oh. So what was her name again, Susie? Was it Carla, you said? Carla at um, Patchwork Rabbit. I think it is. It is. It is Carla. I don't even know why I said that. I know it's Carla. It's Carla...
patchwork rabbit because I need to get my hands on some. Um, I buy my dyed fabric from Italy. Oh, whereabouts in Italy do you get it from? Because I'm always open to suggestions of new places. Are you going to Ali Pali in October? Ali Pali? I don't think I am, in all honesty. Okay, let me just check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Um, crafting with Orchid. I live in Italy. I'm having trouble finding a place to buy. Hi, Rachel. Good morning. Awesome way to get up to see a live stream going on. Well, you know we decided that we needed we needed to have one that worked for our Australian and New Zealand friends so welcome to the stream if you email Kate at Lakeside she should be able to custom cut a piece yeah I need to find the colour though I need to find a cut and colour I'm not sure that she does a 36 count though I didn't see anything on the website where she said she did um, 36 count What thread do you use for beading on mirabilias? Joe, most of the time, and I say most of the time loosely, most of the time it will be the uh, YLI Invisible Thread. YLI but basically is, is a brand. Um, on Amazon, if you put in YLI Invisible Thread, it will also show you other nylon threads, uh, other nylon invisible threads. They all sort of do the same thing. But I tend to use that most of the time on the mirrors because that's what it calls for. But other than that, if I can get away with not using invisible thread, I will normally bead with, even if it says to bead with um, like white DMC or black DMC, if I've got a colour match, I will use KO thread instead because KO thread is a beading thread it's much stronger um, yeah and I really like working with it as well so that is why I tend to use when I'm doing any type of beading let me tighten this up because we're moving quite a lot now um, Good morning, ladies. It's 3 a.m. here in California. I'll finish watching tomorrow. Oh, Sally, thank you for popping in and saying hi. 3 a.m. is exceptionally early, my love. Enjoy watching tomorrow when you're awake. And should be awake, not now, at 3 a.m. <laughs> I feel the need for another cup of tea, people. Good night, ladies. It's, oh, I've done that one. Can't wait. Oh, can't wait now to try the pin stitch. Thanks. Cynthia, it's really, really easy and it's such a game changer so you don't have to keep turning your work over. And you can do it with one strand, you can do it with two strands. As long as, you, as, long as it's an even weave. It doesn't work on Ada's, but on any type of even weave where you're stitching over two, it does. Okay, how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. How many do we need? Love it when I have to do this counting stuff. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four more. 
So Angela says, I found Fiona 8755 this week for the first time. Fast service, she's got loads of fabrics. Oh, we're all gonna be heading off over to eBay. Like, don't everyone go running over to eBay till I get there, okay? <laughs> because I know what's gonna happen. You're all gonna go on a spending spree and, and I won't get anything. What did I, what do I need the, oh. What did I need the loo? I've got you going on my tablet phone took you to the kitchen <laughs> hi Tracy great to see you this morning hi Tracy good morning welcome to the stream crafting with orchid that company that you is it Cassia Sanina I've actually got my scissors from there so I should really go and have a little look on there stitching runner good morning Pleasant surprise to find a live stream at 6 a.m. in the U.S. Well, we, we've been running for a little while. We thought we'd try one in the morning to align with our U.S., um, with our Australian and New Zealand friends. Not going to lie, the trees of death giveaway is a bit dark. Sophie, sorry. <laughs> it wasn't meant like that. It wasn't meant like that. It was more of a reflection thing. that I would love to think that all my all my stitchy fun and happiness that I get from it has gone to a well-deserving person that also wants to enjoy my stitchy stuff. It wasn't supposed to have been that dark, you know, dark moment. Do you have a video on variegated threads and selecting, etc.? No, I don't, not as yet. Maybe I should. I do pin stitch on Ada. I just pierce the fabric in the middle on the sides between the holes. Yeah, you can do that, but I've always found that a bit more tricky. And before I knew it, you know, my needle is slide and I'd go into the hole instead of through the fabric. But that it can be done. You can tell I'm counting, can't you? I think that's the top one, I think. Yeah. We're in the right place. I do like it when it's going correctly. Do you have a video on variegated thread selection of them and the way that they lay? I will have to see what I can do for you, my lovely. Hi, Rachel. Welcome to the stream from Florida. Not fabric related, but did you take a look at textured treasures? She has a dawn to dusk kit in pale pinks and blues you might like. I haven't as yet. I did go on there but didn't really sort of venture too far into it. Callum says, Hello, Teresa. How is your hip doing? I hope it's getting better. Um, we did discuss this a little earlier on in the stream that um, the surgery didn't go very well. Or it, they was hoping that it was the fix, um, but it's not the fix. It hasn't fixed it. So he's basically said, we're going to work with the physio now, wait for three months and if after three months it's no improvement then they're going to take me back in and do the hip replacement um i also pin stitch on ada just got to split the weave so yeah pin stitches can be done on ada ada i think because i don't stitch on ada anymore um I'm not even sure. Well, I did. I did on 18 count, but that was the smallest count I ever went to. Um, on the odd occasion that I did try to do it, it, I just wasn't very good at it. But that's not to say it's not doable, of course. As you are all proving. Good 
Good morning from New York. A little farm, a little farm quilts. Where do I find out about this giveaway? Where do I find out about this giveaway? What giveaway, Rachel? What giveaway are we referring to? Cameron says, hello from New York, 6 a.m. Welcome to the stream, Cameron. Good morning from Washington. Hi, Laura. Ruth Truth, good morning from Savannah. Wow, you're all waking up now, aren't you? Are you all sort of like, is it is it super early where you're at? Oh, Emma, lucky you, the sun's come out. No, still no sun here. Guess it's going to be a stay indoors, stitchy day. For me, at least. I really would like to get this... This letter finished. It's looking cute. I'm liking this. I'm liking this already. I'm loving the colours. And I'm loving the dinky dye silks. It's really nice to stitch with the dinky dyes. And just do something a little different. Very timely since I've restarted my hide this morning on 25 count with 10 stitch. Oh, Ruth. Was you having some problems, my love? Or you didn't like the count? Hi, Maddie. Welcome to the stream. Scream? Stream? <laughs> Rachel, sorry. The some, dark, the some death dark something someone was talking about earlier. <laughs> yeah, no. We was just talking about... I would, I would hate from all of my stitching stuff to just be sort of boxed up. You know, as and when the time comes when I depart this world. Um... Where I depart this earth, that someone would just have all my stuff boxed up and then just send it off to Goodwill, where you know people that probably wouldn't wouldn't care for it. I mean, even like your old stitching, you know, your stitching that you haven't quite finished, you know, part part projects. No doubt, I'll still have a lot of those when the time comes. I would hate to think that they just, you know, get thrown away. So I'm going to make sure that Lauren gives them to the floss tube community. And then that way people that... People that either the want to keep a little piece of me or love the project that I was working on can then go on to finish it for me and know that it was like our little joint venture. That the stuff that I didn't quite finish still got finished. That would be lovely. So Ruth, it's six-ish. Nice and early for you. There's a bit of sun in London, so fingers crossed it gets to you. Let's hope so. It would be nice. I would like a little bit of sunshine. 6 a.m. here in Orlando area, getting ready to head out to the Universal Studios for the day. Oh, sounds like fun. Someone's got a fun-packed day. Laura, this is the pre-toddler wake-up time, thus my morning stitchy time. Oh, love you. Yep. Yeah. Remember that well. I remember it very well, actually. Don't worry, it doesn't last for long. Enjoy. Although you're not going to agree with what I'm about to say, but enjoy it while it lasts, because when it doesn't last, you'll be like, oh, where's my cuddle time? You know, when you can't get your kids up in the morning, you know, and it sort of encroaches into like 11s and 12 o'clocks and your kid's still lounging around in bed, you're going to be sitting there going, hmm, more stitchy time than I ever imagined I'd have. <laughs> Good morning from Massachusetts. Hi, Rachel. Welcome to the stream. 
Needlebug has some great videos on Pinstitch and loads of other stuff on Ada. Yes, she does. She does some amazing stuff. And very thorough as well with her explanations. So Joanne says, please could you tell me where you got your pattern, your stitching? I think I picked this one up from Pigside, Pigside Needlecraft is where I got this one from. Oh my lord, yes. I tried one over one with full cross and didn't like the coverage. Then I went to 28 count and didn't like that either. Now using two strands over one, 10 and liking that. Yep, I, 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 I agree. 28 count, two over one is a good, it's a lovely coverage without making it too bulky. Good morning from Virginia. Welcome to the stream. MZ Diamonds. Wendy, good morning from Ontario. The pattern is a mini, my first hide called a mother's loving touch. Sounds lovely, Ruth. Go you with your first hide. Good morning from Kentucky. Hi, Lisa. Welcome to the stream. Nice to, for you to join us. Phew, two colours in and almost immediately ending, ended. Next one, I start parking. Yay, she's on it. Hello from New Zealand, 10.23pm, Sunday night. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. It looks like our US friends are all starting to wake up. See, they are earlier birds than they thought they were. There was me to sit in there thinking that I can only do streams for the, for the US people to join if it's sort of later in the day for me, which then makes it impossible for those of you in New Zealand and Australia. But it appears that the US, our US folk are early beds. Hi from the Netherlands. Thank you for your beginner series. I got my, you got me hooked on cross stitch again. Got my first Hayden kitted it up. Need to finish a diamond painting first. Oh, thank you so, so much. And welcome to the stream. Hope you're loving your, uh, your stitching. Right, let's finish this thread. Laura says, I'm also working on my hide QS Autumn Owl. Oh, that one sounds nice. How are you enjoying that, Laura? I must admit, it's been a while since I've stitched on a hide, or at least that's how it feels. Oh, hello. The sun's just come out, people. It's almost as if it was in tune with Melissa. She said, the sky has cleared in southeast London. Maybe you'll see it some sun trees are. I'm seeing it. It's here. It's just got very bright all of a sudden. Hold on a minute. Oh, that's it. Yeah. I thought it was upside down for a, for a moment there. Oh Ruth, thanks, Suze. Thank you so much. I'm so pleased my videos have helped in some way. As long as as long as they help people, I just share how I do mine, and then you know what people take from that is, you know, what whatever works for everyone. So Laura says. The uh, owl, autumn owl, is an owl holding a Starbucks or Starducks, Starducks cup for my little one. That sounds lovely. Maddie says, "No sun here." No, well, I say it's there. There's just a little bit of sun sort of popping out, just to say hi. It's, it's still quite a lot of cloud in the sky, but any sun that I'll get, I'll accept. 
Okay, so next color. We have another color, people. What have we got? Salt bush. Salt bush. Now, have I been good enough to. So what's everyone's plans for the rest of the day? So once we've all sat here and done a morning stitching, are you all sitting there and just stitching for the whole day? Is it a day of stitching or have you got chores to do? Or what are we all up to? So MZ Diamond says, how long would this project take you? Well, if I solely worked on just this project, and didn't work on anything else I could probably I could probably get it done within a week in fact yeah yeah probably within a week but I work on a lot of projects and flip between one and the other because I can never just stick with one project. I'm definitely not a one project at a time person. I get I get a little bit bored if I do that. So Melissa's playing darts at 10 a.m. this morning. Wow, that sounds like fun. Lots of laundry and lots of stitching. I'm liking the sound of the stitching. Maybe not so much the laundry, but I'm feeling your pain. I've got a bit of that to do myself. Barb says the same thing. She's gonna be doing a laundry fairy this morning. Do you want to be in my laundry fairy as well? I could do with a laundry fairy. I'm just catching up on my peppermint purple sow, then moving on to the cryptide sow, and in between doing laundry while hubby is in Exeter moving the daughter from one digs to another. So you're all home alone, are you? Enjoying the moment while you can. I've got a presentation tomorrow I should prepare for but all I want to do is craft things yeah I'm feeling that it's Sunday you shouldn't have to be pre preparing a presentation for tomorrow good morning from Connecticut nice for you to join us oh dear waiting for a hurricane to hit in the next few hours staying in and stitching expecting to lose power for days I'm sorry to hear that my lovely please stay safe and I hope that you know if, if the hurricane hits that it doesn't do too much damage and be over quickly for you. But please stay safe and, uh, yeah, fingers crossed for you. So MZ says she's got a birthday party today for her daughter. Yay! That's fun. Although, I'm not sure I would want to be the one organising the birthday party. So Rachel's stitching on Stitching Rose Quaker. Calypso Joy says, full moon here tonight, tonight, Teresa. Going to bed soon, but tomorrow is beginning of a new week. Stitch, knit and bake. Now that sounds like fun. Barb says, I'm stitching my necessity by hearts, heartstring samplers. Lovely. Right, now I need to do a bit of counting. We know how that goes. One, two, three, four. Okay, so... One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's where we're going. Okay, let's do our pin stitch. There we go. 
So Laura says she's doing cleaning, going to meet friends and outdoor gathering and chasing my little one. <laughs> Keeping you on your toes, right? Home alone and now the ironing is done, I'm wrapping hard hanger bars, then stitching on my head. Sounds like fun. Loving the variety, people. Everyone's doing something a little different. Callan says, I'm sorry to hear about your hip trees. Uh, hopefully this exercise will help. If it's any con like consolation, my neighbour had both her hips replaced and she's walking around like a spring chicken. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Tracy says, I'm still clearing my mum's house out, unfortunately, because she passed away in July. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tracy, to hear about the passing of your mum. Age 91. Love ya. Well, you're in my thoughts. I know how difficult these things can be. Um, fingers crossed fingers crossed for you that um, you know you're doing okay it's never easy is it so stitching addict says we are in lockdown in New Zealand so intending to stitch late here working on pain free craft pattern well, I'm sorry to hear you're in lockdown Do, have they said how long they think you're going to be in a lockdown for One, two, three, four, five. Okay, just making sure I've got my bearings. Oh. Can't afford to be messing this up. Not a second time. We did that the last stream. And so far, I feel like I'm actually making progress, which always helps. Three. Crafting today, enjoying single life for the first time. No man to tell me I can't stitch. That's nice to hear. I must admit, I've never had my husband tell me I'm not allowed to stitch. Had he ever said that to me, he wouldn't be my husband anymore. Yeah, can we get some love in the chat for, um, for Tracy? I do feel for you, my lovely. Emma, the pin stitch is the one that I just showed where I, I use the middle holes of over two to do like a pin stitch to secure the thread from the front and then I just stitch over the pin so that it's all held in place. Mu Sasa Fraz, Fraz, is that the wall? Have I said that right? Mu Sasa Fraz. Hi from... Now, what does WA stand for in the USA? Come on, people. I don't know. It's amazing you can stitch in jewelry. I get tangled in my thread even when I'm not wearing any rings. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's because I've always got my jewelry on. It's very rare that I take it off. So I think it's what you get used to. But I've never had my thread get stuck in it, admittedly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking after my dog Cedric and trying to craft at the same time how's that panging out for you I take it Cedric is, is a new doggy is he Or a puppy. That's what I loved about having Fudge. He'd just sit. You know, you didn't have to occupy him. He occupied himself as long as he was with Mummy. As long as he was with Mummy and he was having a nice cuddle. That was all we cared about.
I'm working on Twisted Rainbow Sampler. I love these specialty stitches. Just can't let it go. Yeah, I had done the... Um, uh, one of the samplers, but unfortunately at the time I wasn't wasn't brave enough to tackle the specialty stitches, but I think I might have to because Yeah, I Like the idea of and I've got I think I've got the pattern for the rainbow sampler one But I think again, that's the cross stitch one. So I'd have to buy the pattern again but I do like the idea of the specialty stitch one Absolutely keeping us on our toes, but love watching the little one figure things out. Oh, lovely. Has anyone got the Nerd seated frame? I'm interested in getting one as holding the hoop and Q-snap makes my left thumb very sore. Any feedback on the Nerd frame? Anyone in the chat know or got experience of the Nerd frame? Good morning from Ireland. Welcome to the stream. Washington possibly, Wichita. I'm sure she's going to let me know where she's from. My husband always frowns when I buy more cross-stitch kits. I always get that look when it comes in the post. <laughs> See, I don't have that problem because my husband has equal amounts of stuff that turns up in the post. So if he was to start frowning at me, I would have to do my... I would have to do the eyebrow. You know, the whole... Mm-hmm. sure what that looks like but it's supposed to be there so Melissa said um, in answer to the question about the nerd stand that the clumsy stitcher on floss tube has a short review maybe that will help yeah maybe go and check out clumsy stitcher on floss tube Till Tuesday, the lockdown at this stage, but lots of cases in the Northern Ireland. I live in South Ireland and no cases here, but could be a while with 60 cases so far with the Delta variant. Well, stay safe and well, at least you get to spend a little bit more time indoors doing your stitching. It's just not under the right circumstances, is it? So Maddie says, he's an 11 month old and always wants my attention. He's in an awkward stage, almost done growing, but can't decide if he wants to play or be calm. So can't wait till he is older and more mellow. <laughs> Maddie, I feel your pain. <laughs> You've got to love our little fur babies, but they can be um, needy. Should we, should we call them needy? Full of energy and needy. They're like small children. Enjoy the moment. It won't last. At some point, he will chill out and calm down, like you say. Well, I say that, but not all dogs do, do they? Some of them just stay a little bit nutcase-like anyway. I think my mother-in-law is trying to convince me to get another dog. And I'm like, nope, not doing it. Not doing it again. Not at, not at the moment, anyway. WA in Australia is Western Australia. Not sure about America, though. <laughs> Thanks for the input, Laura. <laughs> that is so pretty already. I know, I'm loving this. Check this out. Look how much I've actually achieved whilst I've sat here chatting. Not bad. Not bad, considering how atrocious it was uh, last, last weekend, on last weekend's stream. It didn't go so well, did it? And would you believe it? I've now just gone and caught all my thread up which might be like the omen. Do 
Don't you just love it when you do this? Come on. On thread. What are you doing in there? There we go. Is that right? Yeah. No, it's not right. Nah, caught the thread with my needle. Oh dear. There. Car had a moment of panic there. I thought I just ruined my thread. Not that it matters that much. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <coughs> okay. So I think I'm going to finish this last little motif over here on this left hand side and then call it a day, people. Go and grab myself a well earned cup of tea. Because I'm feeling rather parched now. You must be feeling parched, people. Or have you all been taking me to the kitchen with you? My tea. I would have drunk my tea, but... It's not easy to drink tea on live stream without making the gulping noises. So, I always feel quite self-conscious to try and drink... My tea whilst I'm on stream. <laughs> I started Twisted Band Sampler Specialty Stitch one and totally stuffed up the first band, so put it away. <laughs> Calypso, I think there's quite a few people that have done the same thing, but maybe it's time to get it back out. Have another go. I remember the first few times I had specialty stitches and I stuffed mine up. But you do get into a flow. Yes, Teresa, you have to get another dog, puppy. Oh, not sure, Callum. Not sure I can do it to myself. I have four fur babies, a seven-year-old lab mix, a five-year-old chihuahua, a two-year-old chihuahua, and a 16-month-old Great Dane. Never a quiet moment in my house, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. Oh, Rachel, sounds like you have a full hustle and bustle of the fun of the pets. I do miss it, but then... In all honesty, I think because I had an older dog for so long and both of mine had heart conditions, they were both very chilled out, they were both very laid back all the time, apart from when I took them for a walk and then they'd just like happily just go walkies with mummy. Um, but they were that, you know, they were much more sedate for, for quite a long time. So I'd got quite used to having, you know, really chilled out pets. But in all honesty, because both of mine had lots of problems, I spent most of my time on my nerves worrying about them. So I, I'm actually, I've got to that point now where it's really quite refreshing and quite nice not to have to worry that they're okay or that something's going to go wrong. Um, and because obviously I have to go back up into London to work, it's just the worry of leaving them. And at least now I know I can go into London and not have to worry that they're not okay or that they're upset that I've left them. Yeah. So at the moment, I'm not quite there yet. Not quite there. I did get a little bit of puppy fever when I looked after next door's little puppy. I'll be honest. I've put a picture in Floss Tube at the end of the month so you can see my little puppy friend that I was hanging out with. Um, but yeah, that gave me puppy fever. But it was a handful. And reminded me of the reason why having a puppy has downfalls because it's like I can't just sit and stitch if I've got an occupied little puppy. So yeah. Hi Laurel. Oh, I'm so pleased you've managed to get one of my live my live chats. W A in United States is abbreviated for Washington State. See now I should know that. 
Really, I should know that. One, two, three. Yes, he's demanding his mum was so calm and he was so energetic, like complete opposite. And I'm single, so imagine 40 kilo dog weight and one person with training and everything. Oh, rather you than me. <laughs> so, Anna, hi, Teresa with the dinky dyes watching. Watch the reds. I saw where someone was stitching with the reds and they had a tendency to bleed. Well, fingers crossed, this does not bleed. Well, I won't be washing it, that's for sure. I don't I don't wash on hand dyed fabric and this is a hand dyed fabric, so it can't go in the wash. And I have no intentions of squirting it at all with any water, so fingers crossed. As long as I don't put anything in the wrong place and have to rip any frog any stitches out. If the red does bleed, it's only going to bleed on the fabric that it's sat on, rather than anything around it. But that's quite strange to have a, have the dinky dyes red bleed. If you ever want puppy puppy love, Kendrick will send it in heartbeats. He's a people person. I love him. So Clara, I've made I've managed I've I've managed to make a lasagna, eat some for dinner, and now sitting having a wine and stitching. Thanks for making the live at this time for us for the southern hemisphere so we can catch it. Wonderful, wonderful. Right, my lovelies, the time is 11.47. I've been on stream now since 9.30 this morning. I am ready for some snacks and for a lovely cup of tea. I want to thank you all so, so much for coming and hanging out with me and helping me stitch. And look what we've achieved. I am so happy that I've managed to achieve this. This is like, you know, it's just like, it's a deal breaker. It is such a deal breaker. It makes it such a difference to be able to actually do some stitching and and achieve something whilst I'm still talking to you. So yeah, it's yeah. What can I say? It's all thanks to you guys. You guys have kept me truly occupied this morning. I've had a great time and I haven't felt overwhelmed by the chat and the company has been amazing and I hope you've all managed to get some stitching done or doing all the things that you were doing and I've waffled the iron legs off a donkey as usual. <laughs> so like I say, the fact that I think this is sort of working, I'll go with whatever the comments are in the video when I post it on YouTube. But if everyone's happy with the whole, you know, one week I'll do an early stream and one week I'll do a later stream so that it allows for different time zones to sort of catch on to the streams, then I think that is the way I will go. But I've had an absolute blast and I thank you so, so much for helping me to achieve my stitching this morning. It's now time for me to go and get my tea, have a snack and sit down and do some more beading. So thank you so, so much. And yeah, take care everyone. Have a lovely week and hopefully I'll see you next week. So bye for now.